Hi, I'm Rob Neal, Deputy Superintendent of the United States Fire Administration in Emmitsburg, Maryland. We're talking about how to build a fire and fireplace safety. We're going to talk about how to maintain a fire once you get it going. We've had this nice fire burning for a little while, and as you can see, it's starting to die down a little bit. So how do we get it back up to where we want a nice roaring fire that will keep us nice and warm? We always have a set of tools nearby that will be very handy for us to use. This particular tool set, you can buy it at any hardware store, you can buy it at a home and hearth store, but make sure you get a good solid set. Now this particular set comes with four tools. The first is a little broom, and the purpose of the broom is simply to sweep excess ash or embers that might have died out back into the fire pit. The second tool is a poker. It's got a little hook on it for moving the logs around. In fact, I'm going to use it right now to help us with this fire. You'll see the fire started to die down a little bit. We've got lots of char on the wood and, and some charcoal building up in there. If I take the poker and give it a good smack, you'll see that it opens up the logs and exposes more of the embers to the oxygen that's in the air. And that's what helps get the fire going nice and, nice and bright. Now the third tool that comes in very handy is a set of tongs. I certainly don't want to reach into the firebox and get myself burned, so I can use this pair of tongs to grab this log right here, and set it up there right where I want it. At this point we can add more dry seasoned wood to build that fire up. One of the things we want to be careful of though is not to build the fire too big. Part of the good, efficient burning is to make sure that there's lots of air circulation around in the firebox. So if we overstuff that firebox, we can decrease the effectiveness of the fire to the point where it will actually burn itself out. Now that we've had the fire burning a while and we want to put it out, we don't want to leave this fire like this because that's a dangerous situation. So how do we control it? Well, with the simple tools that we have, we can take this poker we can open up the fire like this, and that will help get rid of some of that immediate burning. And you'll see that it starts to die out very quickly with that. But another trick that I might want to use is get a little spray bottle, a little water spritzer, and spray a few little sprays of water in there right on the flames, right on the wood, and that will cause the fire to dampen down and eventually go out. Once the fire is out, then we'll be able to take out those excess ashes and we'll be able to dump them outside in a very safe environment. Now, don't ever take those ashes out and put them in a paper bag. Don't ever put them in a cardboard box. What you need to do is get yourself a metal can, a little shovel, a little metal shovel like is included on this particular tool set, and you can scoop up those ashes and put them into that metal container and take them outside away from the house. So don't ever leave this fire unattended. Make sure that it's out, all the way out, when you get ready to leave. So in our next segment, we're going to talk about some of the things that you can do to maintain your fireplace in a safe operating condition.